what's up good morning my people it is early early in the morning it's about 4 a.m and we are headed to north carolina we're gonna get the skis buttoned up up there with corey and i'm um, gonna take you guys along for the trip yo we made it through tsa i don't know how they let us on this flight though so we're some crazy cubans gate six we take off uh, what 520 five something five something okay bye that shit needs a flash I gotta take a shit. Yeah, I feel you, me too. <laughs> All right, guys, we finally made it to the shop. And check that out. Got big old JP Reese sign up top. Got a little menu of the stuff that we offer at the shop. And uh, yo, I told you guys, you guys need to call and set up your appointments because everything here is gonna start to fill up real fast. Showroom has changed just a little bit. Got the glass cases in there with our parts. We're gonna be doing another sign in here, so we're getting that all drawn up. Check it out, we already got some work back here. We got a big stage three Yamaha SVHO that we're gonna be doing, 2022 RXT that hasn't hit the water. Doing a stage one plus on that. Another customer of ours over here that we are doing some ECU work to and a stage two RXPX 300. So the shop is getting packed. We're gonna start getting this work done and uh, you know, make some moolah. guys first two jobs of the North Carolina yes. shop we have pretty much the entire Reva catalog going onto this SVHO and then we have our stage one plus going on to this brand new RXTX 300 Corey you said it has how many hours Zero. you are you're in, you're in trouble how you're so going to jail. Zero points. <laughs> <laughs> We're pretty sure that the first time this ski was started up was last night, you said. He's gonna start working on that, and I have a bunch of stuff to do on this ski. Like I said, it's the full stage three catalog from Reva. We're talking the whole pump setup, dual cooling, intercooler, valve train, injectors. The whole freaking thing is on the ski. We also have another RXP that's in here for a stage two. It was dropped off this morning. He actually has been piecing his kits slowly through the stuff that I have on our website. Uh, now that he has everything together, he brought it over. We're gonna knock it out. So we're gonna have some fast skis on the water up here this weekend. So uh, yeah, I guess we gotta get to work. I do it, I'm doing it, man. I know, right? I need to stop, I gotta put this camera out. See what I'm talking about? I gotta put the camera out. All right, guys, we have so many parts just literally thrown all over the place in the shop because uh, we have a little bit of time to get this stuff done. So we're just like literally just tossing everything to the side, pulling everything out of the ski. Uh, so at this moment, we got Corey working on the 22 RXT. He's going to be doing the dual exhaust system on here. We already did the stage one plus stuff. Uh, it's already flashed. It's already basically it's ready to go. It just needs the exhaust done. Over here, we are also doing the rear exhaust on this one. But like I said, this one's getting a big supercharger wheel. We're putting a new clutch in it. We're doing valve train. We're doing injectors. We're doing exhaust. We're doing the we're doing all of it. Yo, 
I've been up since four in the morning. We just, well, we finished for the night. It's like nine something. Stage one plus is done. This is no big deal, but this is the biggest pain in the ass that I've done all day today. <laughs> we got to do the fuel setup and run a couple more lines, and then this thing should be good to go. Shit, ready to go so tell the people, what do you think? This is the man. You got to go to him <laughs> and nobody else. That's it. Yo, you heard it first. You go to anybody else, you're wasting your time. <laughs> I'll probably finish it tonight, but, the best, get the best. but I'm tired, man. So. Yeah, a nice steak right now would be nice. Yeah, so we're out here. Day two of this adventure. And uh, feels like I've been working on the ski for two weeks. Your hair looks crazy. Oh, <laughs> How's mine look? Oh wait, I don't have hair. Uh, it's just awfully shiny. I can't. Nice and shiny. You want to have a little race? <laughs> Too, but it's a little too choppy. Yo, that shit got no problems, bro. Huh? That shit is. Which one do I get to try first? Brother? Did they claim it does 85 plus? Well, it went 82 for sure. So it's there. It said 92 on your phone? Yeah, but that's wrong for sure. It's probably when we Why hit like a wake or something. I'm not hating on you. I'm just a realist. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let you know how it is. You feel happy, huh? Yo, that's the oh, baddest bitch on the lake right now. You're about to be happy. I promise. Yo, be careful. Right. Yo, 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 hey, yo, yo. Yo, Dom is ripping. Look at that. Yo, he's out. He don't care about nothing. <laughs> this shit's going to the bridge. Oh my god! Did you see Dom in the spine? <laughs> oh my god. Yo, that's yo, that's how you break in a ski right there. <laughs> yo, what are you doing? Woo! Yo, so we're back at the shop, knocking out the stage two. Yo, and it's crazy because Angel loves to do valve train. Isn't yo, funny that I love to do it too. And Corey oh loves gosh. valve train too, yo. This is freaking crazy. It's like a match made in heaven, yo. 
<laughs> Yo, but check it. I got the exhaust done. I got the fizzle in there. I got the ribbon delete on there. Uh, dude, we got everything pretty much knocked out. All I'm waiting for is for Corey to finish the valve train. We'll slap the cam in there. As you can see, I got the stock wheel out. And obviously, we only putting the best in here, boys. JP Racing 17 pound wheel going in there. And we'll make some jam with it. Yo, do you guys see the time right now? It is freaking 12.30. <clears throat> Corey and I are freaking beat, dude. I'm so and beat hungry. and hungry, yeah. We got a little, little belly here we got to feed. Yo, but I'm, I'm freaking tired, man. We have, these skis have beat my ass the last two days, especially that Yamaha. But once again, we have another stage two RXP in the books. I'm gonna start it up for you guys real quick so you could hear it. I think the skis sound different up here. Sound pretty good to me. <laughs> I think it's the tall ceilings. It's the tall ceilings. Alright boys, we're out here at Lake Norman. Corey's testing the GTX. I am on the stage 2 RX speed. So go take this thing for a rip. And uh, you guys know the deal, man. Check and make sure we got no leaks. Everything looks good in here though. See what kind of numbers this thing will rip off. do another hit see if I can keep it from bouncing but this thing feels nice I bet you this thing will go every bit of like 87 maybe 88 stay soon let's try it again Racing stage two, baby, 88. We just got started. This thing is an animal. Woo! We are done working for this weekend. We're gonna actually have some freaking fun. Big shout out to Nick for allowing me to ride his Sea-Doo RXTX 300. I don't have a ski out here because I flew over here. But Nick dropped his ski off to do an impeller and a wear ring. And he said, you know what? If JP wants to take it out for a spin, you can take it out and we out here. Nick Mazo, appreciate you, dude. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. It's better to ride this than to ride Corey's like 37 mile an hour GTX. What's wrong with GTX? It goes 37 miles an hour. No, nah, that shit does not do 55. Yo, Marshall, that ski does not do 55.
right guys we made it out to this little island out here i got this hat like all the way on because it's freaking windy but uh yo a little scenery out here it's a little island that cory comes to uh, all the kids are here so he's gonna be taking all the kids out right now so, yeah this is a spot supposedly this was all like foothills and then the power plant uh started over there made a dam and then now it's all lakes so it's pretty cool out here Mr. Corey, can I ride after Cam goes? Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we in the woods now. Supposedly, there's a headstone back here. So we gotta check it out. How far is it? Feels like the Blair Witch Project out here. Have you guys seen the Blair Witch Project? No? Oh man. I know you've seen it, babe. No, I mean, no, I haven't. What? How do these people not see the Blair Witch Project? Weirdos? Uh oh. Nope, I hear the cops though. Bad boy, bad boy. <laughs> right? What you gonna do when they come? Oh, I found it. It's back there. That's weird. Is it one or two? Just one. Does it say anything? Yeah. Well, here it is. Wow. R.I.P. Son of A, B, and N. B. Williams, born March 17th, 1909. Died March 20th, 1909. Well, that sucks. All right. That's weird. Poor baby. Yeah. One time for the homies. Uh oh. The witch. The witch is coming. Here? Is a Mexican witch. Arriba! Have you seen the Blair Witch Project? Um, no, I refuse to watch that movie. What the heck, man? Y'all are losers. That's not even scary. Seen, um, wrong turn. No. no. That sounds scary. Watch too. that. <laughs> Corey suckered me into that maybe one day. To making a wrong turn. Corey's done a lot of wrong turns. But he made one right turn. <laughs> I don't know about that. All right, we gotta take Robert back to the ramp because he's gotta get back home. He lives about an hour from here, uh, and then we're gonna head back over here to the island. Keep hanging out with everybody. But uh. Good weekend, man. We got some work done. Had some fun. Shout out to Nick again, man. I appreciate you letting me use your ski. Uh, it runs great, by the way. And yeah, we'll have some fun on the way to the ramp. All right, people. We are headed back to the boat ramp. Uh, I had a great weekend, to say the least. Had a lot of work. Finished all the work. And, uh, you know, had some fun on the skis out here at Lake Norman. But, uh, day's over and we're loading up. And, uh, man, I'm freaking beat, guys. We were non-stop for the last three days. And it's just been work, work, work and a little bit of play. But sometimes that's what you got to do, right? So, uh, Corey's going to get his truck, load these skis up, head back to the shop up here, unload the skis. And uh, man, I get back on a plane tomorrow morning to Florida and it's back to the Florida shop, back to work. But uh, yo, I appreciate you guys. I know I say it every video, man, but I appreciate every one of you guys. Thank you for the love and support. You know, make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know where should we open up a shop next, man? Uh, you know, I'm very interested in expanding my business and uh, keeping it growing because if I keep growing, I get to do cool things. So. Uh, leave a comment. Where should I expand to next? And uh, yo, y'all know the deal. Do the spiel. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, make sure you guys follow Corey's Instagram page. It is JP Racing NC. And uh, yo, hit us up if you guys need some work done to your skis. And we'll be more than happy to tackle it for you guys. Till next time. Peace out.